Hi there, welcome to this Goods In video this afternoon. Today I'm looking at two products from Anchor. These have both been sent to me uh, for review and stuff, but I'm not massively familiar with these at the moment. So this isn't a demo. I won't be sort of uh, really turning these products on. I'm just looking really to unbox these. They've just come in the door and I just want to see what what's in each of these. So we've got the Anker Ultra Clear Portable Conference Speakerphone and the Anker PowerConf S500 Speakerphone. They look like pretty much the same thing, don't they? But they are very different in price. This retails at about $89.99 at time of recording. This is more like £230. So clearly some big differences between them. I think one of the main differences is this uses, it says that you can just about see it here, HD voice. So this uses 32 kilohertz sampling, whereas I think on this one we're talking 16K, which means the audio quality on this is potentially much, much better than on this one. Equally, you can see here that this one is Zoom certified. Now, I have no idea what's involved in getting Zoom certification. It might just be, I don't know, a backhander to Zoom, or it might just be sending off for a certificate or something like that. I don't know, but I would have thought that Zoom being a fairly reputable company and an incredibly well-known company, they can probably command quite a lot for Zoom certification because, of course, if someone sees this, if a company sees this or an individual sees this, you do kind of immediately think, well, you know, it must be all right because Zoom's all right. So, yeah, this... It just gives people confidence in your hardware from the word go, and that's worth quite a lot of money. So, I mean, there are other differences between them, but I, I don't know exactly what, what they are. So let's start off, let's put this one to, to the back for now, and let's just start off with the um, the more budget of the two. If I could open the box, how do I open it? Oh, is it a... Oh, it's one of these! I like these! Little magnetic flap boxes. I really like those. Look, look at that. Nice little noise. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't take much does it it doesn't take much to please me there we are look at that so what a lovely unboxing experience anger you have really got your stuff sorted around the way your products are packaged and the unboxing experience for a user as you can see it comes in a little hard shell case but very slim you know it doesn't take up too much space it's not actually much bigger than the device itself pretty good that um, because yeah this sort of thing would Probably get a bit scratched up if you were knocking, chucking that around. And what else is in the box? Just a manual. Is there nothing in here in this little compartment down here? I would like to think that there is. Yes, there is. Good. It's a USB C to USB A cable, and this will be to uh, charge the device up. This thing has a 6,700 milliamp hour battery in it. So not only does that mean that you'll get a really good runtime, because these are designed to be used, just literally chuck it on the desk, connect it to a phone, and you're good to go. You know, they, they work by themselves. So not only will you get great runtime from it, but you can also use this as a power bank too. So if you are stuck, or someone's stuck and their phone needs a bit of a charge, or you want to plug your phone into it, or whatever, you can use the chunky battery in this, the 6,700 milliamp hour battery in this, as a power bank. That is a neat idea. So this is really nicely made, actually. I, I, I was kind of expecting the um, the eighty nine pound version to be a little bit on the sort of plasticky side. So this feels feels like this might be metal, actually. This top bit here and this bit around the edge. You know, I think that's plastic. So everything from here downwards, but this top bit is metal. And then, yeah, you've got your um, sockets on the back here with uh, the USB and then the power in. So that's what the cable's for. And then you've also got an auxiliary out. So I'm interested to see whether I could sort of hook this into my my roadcaster or just into a, uh, a little, maybe just into a little kind of portable recorder like this or something. That might, might be quite a nice way to work, won't it? In fact, it'd be quite good if these things had recording on them, but I suppose you've got to be careful then. You know, you've got to let people know that you're recording, don't you? Uh, so and that's it. You know, you can see around the edge, I think, that you've got the microphones here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got the power button, Bluetooth pairing button, mute, and just standard sort of uh, conference call 
uh, sorry, conference phone controls on the top because that's what this is. It's really like any kind of, you know, poly device or uh, Sennheiser or Q, is it QCS or something like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's that type of device. So there we go. That's the first one. This is the, uh, the budget variety. This is the 8999 model. Let's go and have a look and see what the difference is with the S500. I mean, they this kind of throws around some additional phrases on it, like voice radar. Okay. Uh, and it supports apparently up to 12 people, whereas the other one supports only up to six, I think. It's got a lower battery life, um, but I think this is generally seen as a more kind of... Well, I'd like to think it's a more high-end product, wouldn't you, for that sort of difference in, difference in cost? Yeah, thank you. And this one... Oh, this one. Look at this. This comes in a, a pseudo leather case. Oh, how how premium. It smells still smells cheap though. I'm pretty sure that's not leather. If you're going to do this, make it leather. But then, yeah, there are probably a lot of people that wouldn't like it to be leather. So, uh, fair dues. And with this one, we get a USB C to USB C. And then our documentation is done separately, and we also get a little another one of their adapters. So this is a USB C to um, USB C in to USB A. So they provide a C to C cable, but an adapter for it, whereas the other one just provides an A to C cable. Again, don't know why that would be, and then just doc just documentation in there. Right, let's have a look at this then. Ooh, that's lovely. Really, they've just got such a lovely weight to them. Honestly. I'm going to peel this off now. Nice. Look, it's, oh, look at that. See that there? It almost looks like it. Has it got another layer on or something? Was that just not quite glued down right? I, don't, I feel like this has got another layer on or something to come off, or it's not stuck down right. I don't know. So on the... Uh, Front there, we've got the control, so power, play. I assume that's to kind of connect and stuff. Or oh, maybe not, actually. What's that? I don't know what that one's for. Uh, oh, these are ah, interesting. These buttons are rubber. I didn't think they would be. Yeah, so they're kind of rubberized, these buttons here. And then our Bluetooth button. So there's nothing on the top of this one at all. And then at the back, the charging port. So no option to power, you know, no power bank option on here or anything like that. Doesn't have any kind of consumer options. This is just a put in, in an office and probably leave it. And, and in fact, with the S500, you can also connect another S500 to it to kind of have an extended one like further down a big meeting room or boardroom table and uh, pick up people even better. Uh, so I'm just looking now where the mics are on here. No, it, all that sort of side of things, it just isn't, isn't as clear on here, is it? Just much more, much more kind of plain, simple, uh, but very nice. I know I said I wasn't going to give you a demo of these, and I'm kind of not at this at this stage, really, not massively, but I am just tempted to just try them out and have a bit of a play around. I have tried the audio on this one and this one, and they sound amazing. This one is much better as far as sort of how clear and how sort of deep the bass is and things like that. But they both sound great. They both sound really loud, really clear. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab my phone and I'm going to go into a uh, recording app and I'm just going to um, set them. I'm going to record off, off this one first. So I'm just going to speak uh, from a couple of different distances, record it to here, and I'll just edit it over the top. So let's uh, give, that, give that a try now. In fact, I'll move this out of the way so, so the mics are kind of clear and stuff like that. All right, start recording on there. And because uh, I'm recording now, you can see that the uh, lights have started lighting up. So this is from uh, this is the Anchor PowerConf S500 from a distance of about 30 centimeters. So I, I can't imagine you using a conference phone any closer than this. So if it can't handle this, then that's no good at all. Okay, let's back up a bit and do a try it from here. Oh, you notice the levels. Ah, there we go. Look, so did you notice the levels started off lower, but they've now uh, recovered? So I assume there's sort of AGC work, also gain control working here to bring the levels up. I'm now about a meter away, something like that. So I think the furthest I would be away would be right down the other end of a table. 
or something. So maybe if I was like over the other side of a room like this, and again, you can still see the levels are picking the, picking me up just fine. Um, so this is from about three meters away from the device now. So I really can't imagine that, you know, if you're in a room and you, you, you're this far away from the device and people are this far away the other side too, you've got about 40 people in that, that room. So uh, yeah, moving in again. And now we're back to uh, 30 centimeters. Turn this off. Yeah, this, 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 it, it, just everything about this is more expensive, right? I, I promise you the difference is quite noticeable. It is a question of you get what you pay for, but this does feel great. I love the, it's so weighty and that 6,700 milliamp hour battery in this, the other one's got the same battery in, but it obviously uses more power for other stuff. But the battery in this, it really gives it a really good weight, which I like. Um, okay, so turn this one on. It should, I have paired it with my phone, so it should pair up straight away. Start recording. Okay, so as I speak, yeah, you can see that I'm because I'm sat this side of it, the lights come on here. If I tap this side, is that gonna, no, I've, I've, just, I've probably got to stop talking. So sort of just, I think it just, the idea is it shows which mic is actually being picked up at any one time. So again, this is the uh, the Anchor Ultra Clear speakerphone at a distance of 30 centimeters. And let's back up again and uh, do this at exactly the same place from a distance of one meter. So this is uh, the, I, I just can't remember the name of this thing. This is the Anchor Ultra Clear at a distance of one meter. And then we'll go for the big conference room thing at a distance of about three, three and a half meters. If I go back here like this, that's now at a distance of three to three and a half meters. Um, I probably automatically speak a little bit louder when I'm at this distance, uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, because this this is how you this that's how you would act on a conference, right? If you're in a room and you're talking on a conference phone with others, you would speak clearly and you would speak quite loudly. So, yeah. Um, so let's just move in again, and there we are, back to thirty centimeters. An unboxing and uh, look and. Quick demo of the um, Anker Ultra Clear speakerphone and the Anker PowerConf S500 speakerphone. $89.99, $229.99, very different price ranges, different sort of um, target market. How's the performance on each of them? Well, yeah, you can have a quick listen. Any thoughts or any questions on the product, put them down in the comments. I'll happily check check it out. I don't know the products too well yet. Uh, that's the whole point of these goods in videos. But um, I'll put product uh, links in the uh, description if you'd like to support the channel. All the usual stuff. And if you like the video, then do consider subscribing. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.